What's all this nonsense? Sign the feline and stuff like that. Donder Key, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm doing my drink here. Sign the feline. We'll play baseball for money. <clears throat> Hello there. Hey, eccentric. I mean, we could. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, look at this. This third baseman, Jonathan LaGrange, this power. He's only 25. 10 million is a deal. I mean, yeah, I think we have to do lethal. Not, not just because of that, but because... Uh, I think lethal is going to end up being our third baseman because <clears throat> that arm is probably going to be better at third than first where they have her sitting there now. I, I did. <clears throat> I did. I did. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll fill. Um, we'll put lethal. I'll put first because that's what her uh, thing says, but. Green Rover. It's, you're you're probably right though i'm i'm hoping all right john smith was drafted lethal's gone watch me go undrafted and then i'm gonna laugh yeah for those of you just showing up there's the draft round where you've ended up So a lot of the young players are the ones still left. <clears throat> Which is how it's kind of designed to be, is the uh, the older ones with the more stats and they'll have less growth are the ones who went. And then you've got the youth who will grow during the season who are going to be studs for a while. All right, so let's take lethal for Chris. That's a lot of speed we're getting on the team right there. All right, let's see where everybody else goes. There goes Braylon Shepard, Sergio Turnburner, Rhiannon Canyon. Oh, man, that's sad. Slick Pickman, Buzz, McIntyre, O'Donnell, Powers, McSticks, Rhonda Horn. Oh, man, some good people going. Maverick McMahon, Slapper Glute. Bronco, Carol, Godsonson, Cooper. Oh man, a lot of people. There goes TD Dongstroke. Martinelli, Carlton Starr. There he went. Jack Cracker. Ah. So nobody we know got drafted that round. Yeah, old TD Longstroke. It's so round six here. We've got to be, ooh, oh, I thought that was power. That's contact. Knox Oxensoxen looks okay. For a catcher, what's a little hat give him? Plus 20 contact and negative. You go lopsided. Magic Moore. There's our speed. Meow Bubkins. Ooh, she's volatile. What's that? Mojo changes a 25% faster rate. From play to play and game to game. Oh, she's a typical female. Please don't hate me. It was a, for legal reasons, it was a joke. Um, <laughs> we got Raul Strikes. Oh, he's pretty good too. He gets ahead. 
telling Christy, don't you do it, Donner Key. I won't be able to come visit. <laughs> My trips to North Carolina will be over. Card Boral Zhong. We haven't even looked at relief pitchers yet. These, this sucks. Meow Bubkins has a lot of pitches. Because the only outfielder that looks decent here, I mean, not, man. Hugo lopside for left field would be okay. His arm sucks. But they throw the third base in the seven position. Meow Bupkins would give us a pretty good rotation. Actually, between Raul Strikes and Meow Bupkins, they're both about, let's see, 75, 71, 64, 53. So 44, 53. She's got more velocity. He's got more junk. Ooh, he does. I mean, he's got, besides power, he's got great stats. Magic Moore also pulls us in. Let's go FC Cincinnati. That's probably my local team. I'm really thinking about Meow, too. Ahmad Hunt's name sounds vulgar. Is that an elite screwball? Ooh, that's dirty. Yeah, they ruined the faces. Metalhead letting EA holster this game. This top row. We could take anybody from this top row. I do think that we have a lack of power right now, which is scary. I've used him before though. He was okay, but I feel like he's more of a sub player. I, I'm taking me out, Bubkins. I'm just I want I want the pitching. That gives us three solid rotations. Alright, let's see who goes now. Buffler, there goes LaGrange, Cole, Holmes, Bradwick, Cat Stanza, no! Vinny Vortex, Backman, Henry. There goes Zenus. There goes Steven. Oh, there goes everybody else. This is not straight up not having a good time. All right, so. Here's hoping I'm less of a mas uh, horror mascot now. Where'd I end up? Hey, Shaman, thank you so much. Here's hoping I'm less of a horror mascot now. Where'd I end up? So two in round six. I 
here we were looking at a catcher and Zenith goes right after that. So catchers are all gone now. Still got a first baseman out there we could use. We got a third baseman we could use with switching. There's short stops, which you could use depending on their backups. And there's outfielders. I've totally not been paying attention for Ballastos, Clelk's player smash. So if I've missed that, you all would have to let me know. <clears throat> all right, so we're looking for Zenus and me. Zenus is a catcher, so it wouldn't be that hard to find. Cat Stanza went to Kyoto. She looks so weird until. Man. Maybe I should have been the Liberators. Lima has Zenus, Asher Ryan, Gray General. It's just the, the rotation. It's just how the rotation goes. $71.7 million. I'm, what bad team did I go to? I'm on the meat. Hey! Look, look at that! Look at that! Look, look at that body! Look at that! 19 speed! Woo! <laughs> oh man! Dicks Arcana. I didn't feel like traveling far from home. I fast. I'll hit the ball. I'm going to be the guy that gets thrown out from right field. All right. So we do have a relief pitcher here. 48. That's not very good. Uh, Rufus Zumar. A right fielder with 10 fielding. Swirly cut stiff. What happened to your jawline? What happened to your face? Why is your lip? It's like out here. And she's like, I still the wrong. 35 accuracy. It's a condition. Bennett Walter, Miyamori Ashuma. There's some power. Ooh, Damien Rush. He's a sprinter. He's got magic hands. That may be our... Damien Rush is pretty stout. I think we may have to take him. His contact sucks. Oh, but Jackson Rojas. But his arm his arm is rubber. I feel like with the speed, Damien Rush, <clears throat> he's, got, he's got a little bit of power. He's kind of a glass cannon. But that speed and that arm will save runs in the outfield, I think. Unfortunately, though, he's our only, like, as long as he doesn't drop the ball. I mean, yeah, <clears throat> I mean, we're just at a point, though. I mean, the other guy left and right field, Jackson Rojas here, his arms suck. He's not going to throw anybody out. 
if Mimori had actual building, she could throw people off, and then the rest of them's kind of Cantoros. Well, in building. We're going to be doing a lot of free agency, I think. <clears throat> and now we're starting to see our team summary down there. And right now, our rotation is our only strength. Oh, all right. Let's. I'm fully expecting the rest of the uh, viewers to go in the next two or three rounds. There goes Gina Torrens. She would have been a good one. Max Texas. I always think Max Texas is somebody, but it's not. There went Colonus. Dick Lucas. Oh, I like that dude's first name. Oh, it's freaking Kimmy Smoke, too. Okay, we, we may have actually found us a power hitter here. That was round seven, right? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so Colonus. Sorry, Glumkill. I have no idea what's causing this nightmarish demons for you. All right. We've actually got a number of good players here. Anybody see where Colonus went? It makes me sick to look at other people's... Uh... I think he's shortstop, so we'll just have to look through this little area right here. Cat stands a Roger Cole Lloyd Cook. That's a hell of an infield there. $76.5 million. 82.6 here on Grimace team. We'll have to see who the most is. 81. Lima's probably the most loaded with the uh, viewers. Wow, they filled out their entire New York went for pitchers. Eighty four point three. Opax powers. Yeah, they're they're they ruin the characters. There he is. Colonists is on Sephora. He's a snow fox. <laughs> Sorry, Colonist. Your uh, face is, uh, it's something. It is something. All right. <clears throat> Colonists not wearing any sleeves either. All right. So we got Rip Dingers here with 97 hour. Who has 90 arm to play that third base spot. Blake Shepard. Roth Borgnar. We got Stu Barnstormer, Armani Romero, Kimmy Smoke. Oh, they've nerfed her, it looks like. 
And then we got a closer, Ricky McFarlane, which his accuracy is trash. I think we have to take Rip to give us a power hitter, and he plays third, and he's got an arm. Now, do I think he's going to be able to grab a lot of balls out of the air? No, but he's young, so maybe we can get him some fielding stats. Welcome to the club, Rip. All right. Joseph Brofus. Now, I know we got one, we got a Jackie Daytona name that's hard to find. And then Don Durkee, John Ronero. Is that somebody? Well, Ice Vayner win. He's good. There went Smash. Kitty Kaufman went. Shoot. Hey, Fully. Well, that's a weird name to be a Rangers fan and almost be named uh, Philly. But, uh, Gratz. One less team that's not won a uh, uh, World Series. Which the area I live in, everybody's Reds fans. They won it back in 90, but you'd act like they've never won anything in their life. <clears throat> it's like I went to two games that year. I was a wee lad. All right, so... Okay, so that one was not a player. So Smash is the only person that went. So Clelk wanted his player to be called Smash Balls, and I changed it to Ballastos. <laughs> okay, fully. I'll, I'll allow that. But Gratz on the World Series. Every fan base deserves to have it at least once. Whoops. Except the Yankees. They don't deserve anything else. <clears throat> Whoops. I totally just deleted Makatayuki for the hell of it, didn't I? I don't know what I'm thinking. So I may have missed Monica Wembley and Jackie Daytona. So we need to go through and double check those. Because certain names just don't stick out to me. And like, if I'm not looking for Wembley, I'll miss the Monica part. It is like that. Jackie Daytona is such a normal sounding name in this game that I miss it a lot. And we need to see where uh, Smash went anyway. I don't know. That's why we're we're looking through this. I need you all as my ears and eyes. There's Smash. Smash went to Hiroshima. So he's there with uh John Smith. So it, there's Jackie Slam. So we're looking for a... This is the same issue I had when I was like doing my practice drafts. Um, one's an outfielder and the other ones are first basemen. I don't think we've missed them, but I'll go through here quick just to double check. I mean, everybody else ends up here in Lima. We might as well always just check Lima. 
Travis is playing with a guy named Messiah. It's kind of uh sack. These teams already wow, this team's like already like done their uh, bullpen. We've not even got a reliever yet. You think we made a mistake drafting? Though I see some teams that don't even have like, oh my God, look at Sephora. Colonists' team has freaking amazing rotation. And then they have Ice Vayner, who's an awesome closer. Thank the heavens we only face them once. And then there's teams like this. Poor Cayman. He's it. He's the pitching staff. They've not even done. I mean, it's just crazy how the computer. Um... Look at this infield. You got Iggy, Lola, Juice. But again, A.N. Rose is the only pitcher they have who has an accuracy of uh, 47. But they got Holder close. <laughs> Her teeth. Her teeth are immaculate. <laughs> Look, it's a younger version of me. I'm 25. I had some hair back then. See, this team's kind of did it right. They got two like bull or two people, and then they got two relievers, two starters, and two relievers. Um, I'm not thinking we've missed anybody. Ooh, that's another team who's got. Look at this: Manny Kays, Bishop Fuller, Qualita, and Rotonda Black. Wyoming is stacked with pitching. It's just some, this team has one field player and they filled up their bullpen almost all the way. It's because it was all through makeup, uh, Grimoth, but so I would look different. Duh. All right, let's see who we're going to pick. We could actually get a reliever. We got Byron Reynolds here with an epic mustache. He is walk prone. We've got Elaine Munstar, who's not bad as a reliever. Rod Forth, good contact, great speed, not a good arm. Dimples Muddy Water. He's got an elite slider. Leon Plows. That sounds like a cocaine user. Ardosa Cortez. He's kind of middle of the road on everything. We got Pedro Nixon here. He's got good power. We have Ralph Blue here, 77 power. He's a little hack and RBI zero. She does indeed push us back up, which would help Stokes and Dingers. Three pitches though, that's kind of scary. But 90 velocity is awesome. Rod has no power. Pedro has power. He just doesn't bring anything else with it. 52 arm is probably not beneficial for our wild thing. Increased air at pitch location when holding a power pitch for too long.
think we'll take Munstar. That gives us one good reliever we can go to. All right, let's see if the other people go. There goes Wembley. I just, I knew this was going to be the way that it popped out. Is that... We got one. There goes Jackie Daytona. So there's what, two other people left on the board now? There goes Makatsuyuki. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> I think it's Donderkey's left. And that's because he's a position player. Oh. Hey, it's Pete, everybody. There's your fanfare, Grimmeth. Bask in its glory. All right, round nine. Fight. We got Wembley that went, Jackie Daytona. I mean, Donderkey, if you didn't think that your wife was going to go before you, I don't know what you were smoking. You knew that was going to happen, right? And remember, young people got lower stats because you all grow faster while the older people go down. That's, that's just how it works. Just so you feel really bad, I'm just going to leave your name up here by itself. I forgot what Makatayuki was. First base, I think. All right, let's see where they went. Ah. I um Derek finishes second. He's <laughs> just a bit outside. All right. Um along with that, uh they say nice guys finish last. I guess that goes with the draft as well. I, that comment knocked me so far off the tracks. I don't even know who I'm looking for now. <laughs> Ooh, I was fully expecting Lima to just have all of them for some reason. Travis is the only one out here. And uh, Ljubljana. There's the only one who went to London so far. I'm actually surprised nobody went to New York. There's Wembley. Wembley playing for Prague. Wembley's character come out pretty good. Wembley with Rick Snyder on the team. Harry Backman looks so superior. So we're looking for Jackie and Jackie. There's some scary teams out here in this game right now.
Jackie and Makatayuki. You couldn't make that rhyme if you tried. I'm very scared of the sirloins now. Nox Oxen Soxen, since we've talked crap about him, went to play with uh, myself and Seven. Poor Frank Battery. He looks like he's got metal in the back of his mouth. They call me Jaws. He also looks like the dude from Storage Wars. Yep. Osaka is the New York of. There's Jackie Daytona. She's playing in Wyoming with the team stocked full of freaking pitchers. Oh, Peapod Sandman down there. Uh, Dondridge Key, don't you dare make fun of her on the wide loads. You may not survive the evening. Here's an example of what I was talking about. No traits, but good stats, and it still just comes out to a B. Any other time, this player, so some of the younger ones that I'm telling you all, you, you're like, oh, I'm just a B, or I'm this or that. You could be really loaded, you just didn't roll and get a trait. That's all there is. All right, so Makatayuki is the last person we're looking for here. This team still just, they, they just have two position players. Nick there. There's Makatayuki. Caracas up there with um, Shaman. The Cobras. Uh, yeah, Shaman, you're you're scary. You are very scary. Um, Seven got to see the results of me facing you on a practice season, and it did not fare well. But you're expensive. You're very expensive, to be honest. That's going to be the problem with a lot of players that rolled really well is. I don't know if the computer cracker bar oh crack barrel. All right, so who do we have here? Bell Bowser, sixty nine accuracy. I need to change this. I know. I was ahead. I was ahead. See, I knew. Um, Bento chops. Ooh, oh, oh, falls behind though. That's a rough closer. Gratian Chan, 77 fielding, 85 arm. That's not bad. And 21 years old for a right fielder. Speed's a little sad, sad but... Sergio! Midfield. Would you be playing left, sir? Good speed, good fielding, low arm. Here's Bland exuberantly. Again, crappy fielding, but good power, good arm. Dern Wunderfloss. Terrible uh, accuracy. Spitz McKinney. It's between Bento... Because that's not bad for a closer, 7.5. And Gratian. He's also negative two. So he has negative 25 accuracy on the first pitch. Pinto's got that extra competitive flavor. I don't like Grecian. You don't like Grecian, really? Oh, I see what you're saying. Bento brings us up on that orange. 
and it helps our mid or it helps rush another guy i mean do we go for a closer here is this the a fastball and a changeup's all he has but look at his stats and if there's ever a chance we get rid of his Man, I don't know. This arm. Uh. And it puts us in a position to bump up to the next tier in chemistry, too. Why is Spitz bad? He's 36. His arm is kind of weak for the outfield. That's why it's kind of like Gratian, because he's got 85 arm and 77 fielding. Yeah, Spitz is... Pinto's 27, though. Oh, man. What do y'all think, chat? Do we get this right fielder with the arm? And remember, we he's young, so we could probably get some power for him. The Chan Clan? Oh, man. He does give us some speed, too. All right. We're getting into the nitty gritty now of really having to uh, find players that really fit the mold. Um, and like Grimmeth was pointing out, you want to bump up those chemistry traits. Carl Kirk. I do really get mad when I see a lot of good players pop up and they don't pop up for us. Uh. All right, we got Gr Gordon Fruitwell here. So technically right now we need a catcher and a left fielder. And then probably some relievers. Zenus, this has probably been one of the, I don't want to say worst drafts, but it's been one of the most different ones out of all my practice runs. Sirloin Jones is a closer. He's crossed up though. 3% of the catcher dropping. Eh, that's not that bad, except on stealing. Accuracy. We got Nubs Barnes. Cameron Martin, good fielding, okay arm. She's got a little bit of power. She is 36, though, so she would be short term. Um, I'll see. Ooh, look at Jose Carloco would be a DH. Literally worthless, except for when we go play teams on the other conference on their at their place, you bring him in to pinch hit or be DH. She's a little old, but she's got a cannon arm and she's got some power and she can field as a catcher. And she does bump us up the chemistry thing. Jessica could have been the best thing to fall on our lap in a while. K neglect. Patience Evergreen's not bad either. I know her stats don't look good, but she plays. So Cameron is. Cameron would also bump us up. They both bump us up chemistry wise. Cameron has 88 power, 45 contact, 76 power, less contact speed wise. Cameron's 35. She's 36. 32 years old on Jessica, 36 on Cameron, 
Fielding 72, Fielding 80, Arm 83, Cameron 53. Jessica's the better catcher and contact sucks. She's going to go down. We just have to pray that it's not her. And that cannon arm is big. That increased throw speed, knocking those players out when they like try to steal. That. Yeah, I got it. Stop. We will definitely take Jessica. So all we need is a left fielder and start working on our bench. We still need a closer. Uh, I'm almost to the point where I want Derek or Donderkey to fall to the free agency so we can just sign him. But I know that now that I've said that, he's going to go in the next couple of rounds. Now, another thing that I've seen happen is after the draft, some of the players that get picked, the computer immediately dumps them for free agents. So there's there's a chance in a couple of weeks that we'll be able to uh, do that. All right. Let's see what we have here. Round 12. Marvin Haley is not a bad pitcher. Linda Hand. Ooh. That would fill our outfield out. She'd also bump. Either one of them would bump us up on the chemistry. Ooh, Buck Swiner. He's volatile, though. But he's a natural left fielder. 74 power. Good speed, good fielding, good arm. Downtown Upton. We've already got a first baseman. He would go to the bench. He's a good bench player. Dennis Palmer. I, on pitchers, I'm not going to lie to you all. I just look at pitch count and accuracy. If their accuracy is low... I don't. Like 30? I mean... Buick, not Buck. What? Dude's got an elite fork ball. He's freaking 38, though. I, I think Buck would give us some power in our starting lineup. She's got a better arm, but he's going to be playing left field. You don't really need a long arm to get at the third base. We'll take Buck. I have a affinity for people who bald. I have a little hair on top right now. I haven't shaved it. I got to shave it down for church tomorrow, though. I'm starting to see uh, certain people cycle back into the thing that we passed on earlier. So now we definitely need to look for relievers and then bench players, which bench players aren't too important because you can sign free agents. Wendy Wills. Juanita, ooh. Wow, she would actually jump Chan. Now, why would she do that? Juanita's not a bad player. She's pretty surrounded. She's 31, though. We got Bryce Singh. Yeah. Oh, Julio, your accuracy, buddy. So hear me out. Joanna Heater has no junk, but 97 velocity is pretty stout if you just need to bring in a fastball pitcher. Wild thing. Dun, dun. So if you hold your pitch, your power pitch too long, 
Um, we would definitely need to get a few more of the yellow, the spirited. Oh, look at this. Duffy as a backup player is pretty solid too. And she's 21. This is actually a good set of people. And shortstop and third. That takes care of the left side of the field. That's our six, five, six spots. Julio's not good enough to be a closer. I'm sorry. Juanita's not a bad backup. She would cover part of the outfield. A lot of you are calling for Joanna. She's got an elite force. Oh, man. I think he... Aubrey L. Duffy. I'm really sad that we couldn't get her because she is pretty stacked. And I know she's not going to last. She will not cycle back around. Well, for relievers, you're not going to be like a starter. Most closers only have two pitchers, too. Yeah, that's what's leaning me toward her, Hack Cheese, is I think she would get some bumps on power and stuff. She would give us a bump to speed and defense. And this is, t I don't know, chat. I mean, a lot of you are picking Joanna. This is. People who do the shuffle draft really quick, just. Yeah, we've only got one reliever though we got a lane I just feel if somebody gets hurt or if we need to like if somebody gets down in the dumps she's I, there's gonna be pictures there when we get through I'm gonna take Duffy Oh, let's see. I'm still waiting for O'Donderkey. Watch at this point. We probably missed him. We were giving him such a hard time about his wife getting drafted. We missed him. DP Turner. Oh, oh man, we got Dexter Wu. I'm almost about to take Jess Fowl, just not even listening to any of you all. The only problem with her, though, is she does first and third, and we already got somebody that does third and short. Oh, but look at Brianna Anubis. Not at her face. I mean, but look at her stats. Oh, she's only got two pitches, too. Jess Fowl is dirty. Let me just tell you all. Oh, man. Grease Veterano. <clears throat> He's pretty good, too. Hiro Masano is not bad as well. He's a choker, though. <laughs> but he's got five pitches. Oh, Rachel Rhubarb. Man, this is another good one here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so right now we cover third and shortstop.
I've played with Jess before, and she's really good. She'd be a great backup to Lethal. She does pump us over the uh, purple, the disciplined. Uh... Well, so would uh, these other ones. I think I'm gonna go with Jess Foul just because I played with her before and I'm really good with her. And Fred Bobbitt. Uh, and Pitch Hennings, I think she would be great too. I don't want to look at my phone. Donder Key's probably blowing it up with mean things. Oh, Kimmy Smoke. No. So for backups now, though, for our bench, we need to start looking for outfielders and a catcher. Uh, Donder Key, if we pull up the board, let's go to the board, is Biggie Rivers. And I'm afraid I may have missed it. So part of me wants to like kind of look through. I told myself when I did the draft that there would be one person. There's so many bench spots open though. I, uh, I blame uh, postmodern anxiety for this. She put pressure on me to make him a certain way. Juice Jacks, man. Texarkana is scary big good too. Like I said, there's tons of like bench spots open, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, that would be hilarious if Wyoming drafts him and then he and Jackie Daytona would play together. I think he can play third too. I'd actually like laugh at that if that's what happened. There, so there's two teams that so far that need short stops. So yeah. All right. Uh, Matty Bats, not bad older player. There's a player on here that I'm kind of looking at that I may go for just in case. Not a bad. Why would you start? him over Damian Rush. Noodle arm. Oh, she's got a noodle arm. Never mind. Uh, Linux Doctor. 80 fielding. That's not a bad reliever. He's only got two pitches, though. Wixit Maze. K Neglector. That doesn't sound good. Negative 15 velocity and negative 15 junk when pitching with a two strike count. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Uh, Jefe Manzano. Tough out. Plus 25 contact when the two strike count. That's that's not that's pretty good. Ooh, here we go. We got a closer. Finn County. 21. He looks gangster. Elite four seam fastball, but he's got he's a walk prone. Cosmo Chap uh 61. Okay. Uh here's a backup catcher who's got he's a sign stealer. He played for the Astros. 10% chance of receiving an audio and visual cue of whether a fastball or off-speed pitch is coming. Oh, Bella Meatball. She's got meltdowns. Negative 58% accuracy for the remainder of the inning after four consecutive batters reach base. Negative 100% accuracy? Oh, that's terrible. So we either get an outfielder. Grizz Signoro would be a great backup catcher to Donovan.
I just don't know about the two pitches. Especially with both of them being, it's a fastball and then a slider, which is a fast pitch. What are y'all thinking? <clears throat> Do we pick up a backup catcher? And then we have to get bench players that are outfielders after that. Because that would, we, we've we got catcher. Oh no, we don't have somebody who can play second base. We may have screwed up a little bit. I mean, I can always play somebody out of position, but... Annabelle Stokes is just not allowed to get injured. Actually, can anybody... Uh, oh, Figaro can play it. Okay, that's we're fine. We're fine. As long as he can slip over. And then we've got somebody who can play shortstop. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And then we've got third baseman. Okay, we're fine. Um, He's ancient, yes. But as a backup... Yeah, I think... Part of me still wants Finn. God, we're so good at speed and defense. All right, all right. We'll take Grizz. Joanna Heater just went. Okay, we have to get outfielders now. We've got to get relievers. Biggie Rivers, I saw him. He went. I didn't see where he went, but he was drafted. Fifteenth round. See, that's the oddity. I just, it makes no sense. The game, when I did my test, and I've got it right here, I can pull it up and tell you all. So when I did my test, the lowest anybody was drafted without, like, unless they just weren't drafted at all, was 11th round. So, like, it makes no rhyme or reason. It really just is the CPU being the CPU. There's a name for people who go at, uh, all right. So the board is clear. I bet I can't just. I think I made it. Oh no, I can do that. It's bright as get all out for you all, but. Really game. I just wanted to put their salaries over there. Is that all? Is that too much to ask? It does everything. Oh no, there it is. Maybe? Yeah, salary. It's kind of there. It's just. I. You know what? I don't even know. I'm not even going to mess with it. All right, let's see where he went. That was up to you all to be looking. He's probably in Lima with everybody else. No. 
Going to uh, Lujibalani would be hilarious too. Like San Juan, like got their same players they had before. Oh, he went to Seoul. He's with Cayman. There's absolutely. So he's a cyber bot. Cyberbots in disguise. What? What's wrong? There's nothing wrong with this character. <laughs> showing the guns off. I think everybody on the Cyberbots is showing their guns. Yeah, they have no sleeves on their jerseys. So even poor Bertha here, who looks bloated, is just like... So they got Biddles and Biggie. And then Willie. I mean, Cayman. <laughs> he doesn't look like that in real life. Oh. These are my people. They are your people. All right. So we really need to focus now on building a team that can actually do something. So we need outfielders, some relievers, and a closer. Uh, Ernesto Buchanan. He's a stealer and a slowpoke. That is a terrible, terrible 10 squats. I'm not standing. I'm not standing. I have to wait till I'm standing up. I'll put it on the list. I can't believe you. Shirley and Dare. She's got some good uh, pitches and she gets ahead. I hate you all. I'm going to add it to the list. Not coming to North Carolina ever. I'm a curls. Uh, Lola Knox. Clyde. It's Clyde's song. He's pinch perfect. BB Takabasi. Oh my god. You all. I'm going to like start the next stream up, stand it up, and I'm going to die. <laughs> Steve, stand up. <laughs> I don't know if I got my weights up here. That's the problem. Y'all just want me to have a heart attack before the night's over. And we got Meggie Meggles. <laughs> 